brain tech here yeah? where tech is made simple currently in windows 10 and windows 11 features and components of the operating system like your taskbar your search your system tray and also your quick action quick launch center are all tied in and coexist in a process called explorer.exe now if we just head over to the task manager explorer.exe is this process just to give you an idea in case you're unaware if we just head right down to the bottom here we go windows explorer explorer.exe that's responsible for all those different features that coexist as mentioned and this could all set to change because in one of the latest preview builds which is build 25252 which i actually did post on an interesting feature has been spotted where microsoft could be freeing up the taskbar and components as mentioned of the taskbar from the explorer.exe process and moving it into its own library so this could mean in the future that there's better performance uh, improved stability and also it could eliminate problems with explorer.exe because currently when explorer and windows explorer crash so as an example your file explorer when that crashes or freezes that means that all those different features that coexist in that one process called explorer.exe will also crash which means the shell or the window of your operating system just to put it in a very simple um, kind of terminology the actual shell of your system crashes as many of you may know which means uh, you may have to restart that process or restart um, your actual system to restart the shell and the explorer.exe process which does run in the background and is responsible for all those different features and components of the operating system now as mentioned this may be set to change and in uh, those latest preview builds which was first spotted in build uh, 25252 which was one of the later and latest dev channel builds um, microsoft has been trying out a new feature and moving the immersive shell out of the file explorer or the explorer.exe as the process is also known so what this means uh, is that when the uh, explorer does crash or the file explorer does crash or freezes in the future it means that all the other features that coexist and um, will, will up until recently have coexisted with that file explorer.exe uh, process will not freeze or crash or cause in, uh, system instability like it currently does on windows 10 and windows 11 so as an example if your file explorer crashes or freezes it means your taskbar will still function and other aspects and components of the taskbar will still function and vice versa if your taskbar freezes or crashes it means your file explorer will still function so it just brings a little bit more stability um, into the windows and windows 11 operating system so basically it just makes it easier for you to run windows and future versions of the windows 11 operating system without having to fully rely on the file explorer and the explorer.exe process and at this stage though it's still early days it is uh, being tested uh, in the dev channel so um, it's not known exactly when this will roll out to up and coming stable versions but if it does and if microsoft does to uh, decide to go with this route and um, where they are basically moving the immersive shell as they're calling it out of file explorer then i think we could see greater system stability and a little bit more of a performance boost and a whole lot less issues with freezing and crashing uh, in the operating system as those features then will not be relying on one process but different processes in the future so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one